Hi, my name is JJ from Fraser Yards. I would like to welcome you on the 33 and a half meter Robbie Bobby, built in 2013 in Holland. Uh, Knoestern Yard, gentleman's uh, exterior. Uh, one, we're standing here, one of the unique features of this yard is this huge, huge uh, sideboarding platform for easy access. Uh, and let's go inside. So this is a perfect example of a classic lined gentleman's yacht, ocean going boat uh, with a nice timeless exterior, canoe stern like I mentioned before, but don't be fooled by the classic looks because we have a very nice contemporary modern interior which we're going to have a look now. Large large uh, exterior deck spaces on all the, the three decks and entertainment all over. Let's go inside. Okay, so we have here our main saloon on the main deck. As you can see, uh, focus is on natural light, big, big, large windows, which can be opened up if you want to have some natural air, because not everybody likes the, the air conditioning all the time. Nice, relaxing atmosphere. You will see throughout the whole boat, there's a beautiful art. Owner likes that very much. And uh, we have uh, quite often here a uh, little aperitif just before dinner. And, uh, on the main deck we also have the, uh, the large owner's cabin, uh, the galley and downstairs we have uh, two VIP uh, staterooms and two uh, twin. We will look at that afterwards. Let's go to the owner's cabin. Here we have the large entrance, the side entrance of the boat. You see again large windows, nicely uh, washed oak. They had, and there, here we enter the owner's, the owner's cabin on the main deck, very comfortably located. A lot of nice art, all the amenities, the television sets, and last but not least, a huge bathroom for this event. And another very nice feature, certainly not to forget, is the large walk in uh, wardrobe, which you will never find on another boat of this size uh, like that. Have a look at it. Before we go to the guest cabins downstairs, let's not forget uh, that we have the, oh, the large windows can be opened if in case a uh, client wants to have natural air and don't want to have the air conditioning on all night. So let's go over there. On this side we have the, the day hat, on this side we have the large galley and when we're passing the staircase to the, uh, to the bridge deck where we have our uh, entertainment area. Now we go to the, uh, the guest area. Here we are entering the lower deck where we have the four guest state rooms, two VIPs with large bathrooms uh, on this side. And on the other side we have the two with single beds one with a pool, one bed, to, uh, if you have extra children to host or uh, extra guests. Large bathrooms, again, everything in this boat is set up with uh, space and uh, in mind. Let's go to the, uh, to the single ones. So here is the, the one with the pool, one bed. I put it down for you guys. You can see this is a full-size bed. This is not some, some camping. This is really nice to sleep, nice, very comfortable. When you don't use it, you, uh, you will see how it is set up in this cabin. And uh, it looks like this. Now we go to the, um, to the bridge deck, where we have a lot of entertainment space. And I'll show you that uh, straight away including the uh, outdoor cinema. So before we going upstairs, besides, uh, I want to point out that beside all the natural light in this boat, uh, another important feature is, uh, is the huge deck space. Here on the main deck we have more than uh, 75 square meters of open space. On the, uh, the bridge deck we have uh, 60 uh, uh, square meters. And on, the, uh, on top of that, on the sun deck, we have over 60 square meters of leisure space to 
guest area. For the water access, besides the large bathing platform on the side, we also have a swimming stairs coming out of the stern that leave you straight into uh, the water. And it's just not a uh, normal stairs, fully hydraulic, coming out with the stairs, with the steps to be adjusted uh, at your size, which makes it a very comfortable and safe uh, passage to, towards the water. Now I'm going to take you to the bridge deck and show you over there. Okay, so now we're entering the bridge deck area. It's a large sunbathing bed here. Like I said, 60 square meters here. We have an, uh, a cinema screen which we hang up here. So we have an outdoor cinema which you can use inside as well. And then we're entering the saloon with a fully equipped bar. Uh, ice makers, coffee makers, uh, water, everything. We have uh, a normal television set. We have a uh, nice sitting area and it's perfect for entertainment. And if you add it together, it's almost 100 square meters of uh, entertainment space on a 33 meter boat. You will never see that again. Now let me take you to the wheelhouse from where the, the boat is driven by the captain. As many spaces on uh, Hobby Bobby, large, uh, large area. It's also space for the guests. Want to see uh, the captain navigating the boat to yet another exotic location. So, uh, latest technology, of course. Here to go. So now we are entering. The sun deck, also known as the party deck. We have a large table here for either your uh, breakfast in the morning, calm, or a uh, nice dinner at evening. Passing the bar towards the, uh, the jacuzzi. We have the jacuzzi, which, by the way, is on the same level as the uh, as the bar. So there's always the interaction between the people on the bar and in the jacuzzi. We have large uh, sunbathing areas in front, which I show you now. And it makes this deck perfect for entertainment. Okay, in the front of the hot tub, you have these huge sunbathing area with the sun pads. And all together combined, you have the the ideal entertainment area, socializing, partying like crazy, or just relaxing with your family. One more other unique feature here is the, the deck space in front of the, uh, the wheelhouse, where you uh, sit with your friends, many times used by the guests, Sit quietly, chat along, enjoying the view, enjoying the drive. We have an arsenal of water toys. We have our 28 foot axe par uh, chase boat. We can take six people inside. We've got a lovely sunbed at the back. And accommodate three people. We have another bow seating up forward that can accommodate about six to seven people. So she holds 12 people comfortably. Behind me you can see we have uh, two Hobie treadle boards. Uh, these are unreal. People really love these. It's great exercise. Uh, good for getting around and they're a bit more stable than paddle boarding. Uh, we've also got our one year old Sea Do Spark. It's got their trim function on board uh, so you can do wheel stands and a lot of tricks on it. We also have the Yamaha Cruiser, uh, which is capable of taking three people. Uh, on board, we are a RYA training center. Uh, so we're able to give people their licenses on board within probably about an hour of training. She's powered by two Caterpillar C18s, um, very robust engines, um, heavy duty diesel built for low fuel consumption. 
Uh, fuel consumption for both engines at cruising speed of 11 knots is roughly around 120 litres per hour, uh, which is very economical for a boat this size. We have two Caterpillar C4s as the generators. Both fuel consumption on those is around 20 litres per hour for both of them. Absolutely maintained in immaculate condition. Owners spent a lot of money over the winter getting things up to speed and maintaining it to the highest standard it can be. We have a water system on board, water a day. Uh, so that helps with the jacuzzi that we have upstairs. That's two separate systems at Quilista. We have NIAD stabiliser system, zero speeds, uh, so the boat stays beautifully calm at sea. We have a Haman Blackwater treatment plant, uh, which is a very sophisticated system and pretty much all of our waste can pretty much go straight back into the water, purifies it and then it's all up to Marpole standards. This concludes our tour. As you can see, Robbie Bobby has it all. If you want to have more uh, information or book a viewing, contact me by email or phone with the details uh, below. Thank you. <laughs>